So I'm a big fan of TimeLineJS, so I figured I'd make a way for WordPress to provision uh, TimeLineJS events. So you get something like this here, where you can navigate through it as you'd expect, but these are actually posts. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, the first thing that you're going to see is, uh, if you turn on the plugin, you've got the normal things with a post. Um, and you have the ability here, just keep in mind, to set your date. So you can set this far back into the past. I've gone at least at 1700s. But this date right here becomes the timeline start date for uh, this particular piece. Um, and then you can also have an end date. So I could set this end date into the future right there. Uh, set some other words here, and then I can put it in a category. Uh, I can also set the feature image, which will be what shows up in the timeline as the image view, in addition to any stuff I put in here. So I'm just going to publish that. Just a quick example there. You'll notice also that timeline shows up on the end here. So, uh, for timelines, to create a new one, um, and give it a title, this is what's going to be what shows up on the uh, main starting element. Um, here are the words that will also show up. You can make them links. You can do all that sort of stuff just as you'd normally expect. Uh, you can also set a featured image here as well. You see that's all working. And then you decide of all my posts and all the categories, which ones do I want to show up. And you can do multiple categories or single categories, but this determines what's going to show up on your timeline. I'm going to publish go right here. And then here we go. Those links work. You can navigate. You can have starting and end dates, but you don't have to. Um, all these do so far. Um, but you have lots of different options, the ability to create multiple timelines, and uh, hopefully everything you want just about.